Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bumi. If this is your first time, you're welcome. I post good content on sales, customer relationship management, business and personal development. Today I'll be sharing with you on how to reduce customer complaints, the employer's responsibility. Stay tuned and let's get right into it, guys. One way to ensure that customers are satisfied, one way employers can ensure that customers are satisfied is to ensure that proper structures are put in place. Creating a proper structure means that you already have a mental picture of how your delivery would um, work from the beginning of the transaction to the end of the transaction. You're not just picturing the best case scenarios, you're also factoring into that um, structure, the worst case scenarios of delivery and how you are going to ensure that it is properly done. When customers part with their money, that's when your transaction begins. Customers should be aware of the structures you have put in place in the organization and other staffs of the organization too should be aware. Different kind of policies, um, return policy, delivery policy, um, um, discount policy, every other kind of structures that you know that oh, would, be in, um, uh, would be valid in the course of the transaction. The customer service person has to be aware, other employees have to be aware, the customers themselves need to be schooled in your organization's policy so that when they come to a particular point in time where one of the policies of the organization is needed, the customers is well schooled, they are not requesting from the customer service person something that the, um, the organization is not able to do, they are not taking it out on the customer service person because they are already aware of how these systems um, and structure works. When customers are meeting your business for the first time, they have their interest at heart. All they want to do is to exchange money with you and then get the service with which they paid you for. At that point, they, were not, they are not your friends. They just want to have a completely hassle-free transaction. You are the company owner. You have studied the business um, 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 retrospectively and you know what, what and what are your challenges, are the challenges you encounter in satisfying customers. The process of putting in systems in place to ensure that um, um, your transactions are seamless is called structuring. And after that, it behooves you to create another structure of educating the customers about the processes involved in service delivery. I'm coming to your organization as a customer. I don't know the, the challenges you are facing. If, if it's possible for me to pay you now and get my um, item now, I don't mind. But you know what you go through in the process of creating that um, 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 product. You know the timing. You are the one that knows the timing. You are the one that knows the effort put in place. You are the one that knows how long it takes for the item to be delivered. All you need to do is to put in structures in place to ensure that I, as a customer, I'm satisfied. And then you school me about the structures you are putting in place. Oh, this is my um, um, uh, policy um, um, number of uh, days it will take for the item to be delivered. Oh, this is my return policy. Oh, this is my um, 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 company structure. You school me as a customer, letting me know that there is a possibility that this and this might happen along the way. When it happens, this is how we salvage it. When you let me know, I will now go into, you know, I mean, I mean, into my own privacy to think about it. Am I willing to abide by these procedures? Are they good enough for me? Am I in a hurry that I can't wait for all these structures that you are put in place to work? Or do I think I have enough time to work with it? When I am satisfied with it, then I come to you and give you my money and then we have a transaction there. But you know what some companies do? They paint wonderful case scenarios, seamless and sweet company policies, paint it to the customers, let them know that they will not have an issue. You, all you need to do is just give, give us your money and then you go and sleep. And then when the customer now gives them the money, they begin to encounter these challenges and because they have overpromised the customers that they are under delivery, there is an issue. The customer start calling the customer service person to exchange unpleasant words because this was not what I signed up for. Have you heard that statement in Nigeria? 
that customer service is so bad in Nigeria. Nigerian businesses, they don't have good customer service. They just structure their business anyhow. This is the reason. Inability to communicate with the customer, the intricacies, the, 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 the details involved in the service delivery. And inability to wait for the customer to digest it and agree with it. You know, as a company, our we should not just be excited about making customers and, and I mean building um, a business name and, and get, gaining ground, gaining customers' attention. You know, getting their money and all that. We should be I mean, we should be very very concerned about building goodwill. A customer can be so satisfied that fourth generation will still be I mean of that customer's um, um, family tree will still be loyal to a particular business brand. The place of proper business structure in an organization is very, very vital. To your customers, it makes your business professional, you build your business goodwill, it um, helps customers trust in your business. And the ones that you have segmented, you are able to keep them. It positions you, it gives you an advantage because customers can actually vouch for your business. They know that when you say something, you mean what you say. They take your words very, very, very seriously. You, 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 your, your esteem as a business increases in the minds of your customers. It's just what you need to gain customer satisfaction, customer's trust. Is what you need to ensure that a um, customer's complaints reduces. So we've come to the end of this video. Number one, employer's responsibility to reducing customer's complaints. Um, subsequently, I'll be sharing on other employer's responsibilities in ensuring that customer complaints reduces. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something. Till I see you in the next one. Bye for now.